Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Modern Nomad. I decided that I wanted to start recording vlogs, and I wanna make these videos like 20 to 30 minutes long, but basically just a bunch of snippets of my week and what we did that week. But for the last two weeks, we've had a bunch of thunderstorms and a ton of rain. And unfortunately, one of our utility poles fell over because of that. It didn't actually fall over during a thunderstorm, but we think the thunderstorms might have washed out the dirt that was under it and caused it to fall eventually. So that's pretty much what we're doing this week is replacing this utility pole. And no one really has any faith in us. So far, everyone we've told has basically been like, don't do that, you're dumb. Um, but. I don't know, me and Nick were looking at it and it doesn't look like it would actually be that hard. But we're gonna give it a shot because, well, frankly, it's not worth trying to pay someone $10,000 to put a stick in the ground. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this pole. So this is the pole that fell over. It's, as you can see, just holding on by the strap here, but it is completely rotted out at the bottom, so it just, basically has nothing to hold on to anymore but the objective here is we're gonna dig a hole somewhere over here move the pole <clears throat> and have someone pay to or pay someone to move the wires over to the next pole same distance same arc for the wires but here we go right here fair enough four foot from the old pole. Hopefully we shouldn't have issues with the ground trying to collapse right there. So with the inputs of the house, you're gonna have to extend that out to here too? Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be, I'll basically have them move. Just disconnect the house side wires and then move this box, this, and all of this over to the new pole. And then I'll do all that. Sweet. I'll dig that up and run it over the four feet and then get some new i think that's just four gauge wire right for a 100 amp service yeah i'm not sure offhand but sounds right four gauge can do up to i usually look it up yeah. <laughs> i forgot to show you guys that this is currently connected with a strap down to the storm shelter down here Got it connected to the frame. So I don't know if we should set the post this evening because I feel like we're going to have to do it all. We're going to have to dig the hole and then set the post right away right after to avoid any issues with the ground collapsing around the old posts. So since we only have an hour of sunlight left it might be better to do it in the morning. Definitely. Fair enough. And that'll give us a little bit of time tonight. I'm gonna chop a couple feet off of that post so it's lighter and um, a little more stable. Cause that is only 15 feet up. And so if the lines are 16 feet up, then I'll cut it off at 17 feet above the ground and it's got I think it's like almost 26 feet, 27 feet long right now. You know what? It's actually actually not, yeah. I was gonna say it's actually not I'm nearly as heavy here. as I thought. Try to lift the heavy side, and I think with the help of the shop crane, we'll be able to do that. No problem, honestly. 
so we're gonna like use the crane to I think so it's just a theory I don't know exactly how well it'll work but so I'm thinking if we strap it like right in the middle but a little closer to the side that's gonna go in the ground or maybe a little closer to that side get it as high up in the air as we can and then just basically like push this side down and kind of wedge it in the hole and then go on to the other side and just like both get under it and like push it up okay or maybe have one of us pushing and one of us and like you know two of us because rose will be here too like pulling with like a rope or something yeah I just got to thinking <clears throat> When we dig the hole, we should make a slope on one side and slide it in. So slide that's, it in at an angle. Yeah, and that's then a great idea. hook a uh, ratchet to the top of it and pull it up the rest of the way with the truck. And then the little trench would be holding it okay. in place. You see what I mean? Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, if it's four feet deep, surely it wouldn't tip over one way or another. It should just I mean, yeah, if the hole, if we can get it even up, even six inches in the hole, yeah. once the hole's dug, I can drag it with the truck. Yeah. I'll probably have to destroy some of my fence to get the truck in there, but it's okay. Fair. <laughs> and I'm considering trying to set this post on the crane so that we can kind of, I don't know, I don't really know what else. I don't know how else to get it in the yard. Well, um... Yeah, so what we should do is put our strap around it and pull it into the yard. And then actually your idea about lifting it up and balancing it on the middle of the crane so that we can kind of balance it on there and lower it in, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, well, and Mike was thinking about digging, like, when we dig the hole, kind of digging a spot out that's kind of angled on one side so that we can kind of set the post a little bit down and then, and like angle it into the hole. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Like that log, jack one side of it up oh, and set it on the shelter. I see. You know what we could do, dude? Okay, I just figured this. I figured this out, Mike. We're gonna jack it up. We're gonna put one side of it on the tornado shelter. We're gonna keep jacking it up on one side on the side that's by the tornado shelter, and set the jack up on top of the tornado set, shelter. Set that oh. up under the log. And then we can set the jack up on top of the tornado shelter. I see what you're saying. Yeah, just actually, yeah, dude, that would just work perfect. Inch it, yeah. Inch it up. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's just like perfect. It has that little crescent shape to fucking hold it in place and everything, too. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I would trust it like this. Oh no, not just, you know, <laughs> just while the crane's like still supporting it and shit? Oh yeah, I gotcha. Okay, um, so basically we're going to get it over there, however we get it over there, and then use the storm shelter as a jack to jack one side of it up and then set it down and then we'll kind of readjust it and then keep jacking it up and get this side of the log up on top of the storm shelter and jack it up like this so that it's at a good angle and we can start sliding it down in the hole and then just keep jacking it up. Yeah, and you'll, dude, on top of the tornado shelter, if that ends on the ground, you'll have awesome angles. It'll be like halfway up. Yeah, I mean, it really will. It'll be, it'll be two feet higher than, yeah. than it is right now. And that'll, that would just be great. It would be perfect. Well, I think we figured our plan out. Yeah. Now we just got to figure out how to get it over there. This thing weighs like 2,000 pounds. God, seriously? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. If not more. Me and Mike both had, <laughs> me and Mike both had to stand on the back of the engine crane so it didn't collapse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it does look pretty big from here. Yeah, this thing's probably like almost as heavy as the Camry, dude. Nice. We're trying to stand That's the Camry up great. on the tank right now. <laughs> That's off. Okay. Except like twice as long, at least. Right. Just be ready to clear out if it drops. <laughs> like, this is a wild idea too, but if we can't, like if the wheels dig in the dirt or something, we could maybe get one of the trailers and put it on. I was, I was actually kind of thinking that as well. It sounds kind of like a sketchy idea, but also I don't see how much could go wrong in the backyard, except that falling off the trailer. Let's, uh, let's try it. Let's. I was saying the uh, wheels on the crane are not really designed for grass. Yeah. Definitely not. And then before we take off, if you want to adjust it so that you back up that trailer. Yeah, that's dumb. Then, uh, It's squishing the tires down. No, oh, actually not that bad. I guess just that side. Damn. Wow. <laughs> if this fucking works, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is like... Dude. Yeah, this is literally... If this works, I'm gonna be so blown the fuck away. I like, think the only thing is we should adjust that. We should what? We should adjust that to further back. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna. You have another strap that I could start working on here. Uh, yeah, there's a black ratchet strap over there. Ready? Send it. it. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Gonna have to take a really wide turn. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, yes! So I guess let's try and position it, um, like spin it so the placer up right now, because we're like perfectly in line with the hole. Oh my god, that's, it's perfectly balanced. <laughs> yeah. It only needs like 100 pounds on this side to dude, teeter. We oh. could, dude, if you sit on that side and I sit on this side. We're going to see saw it. Actually, wait, I should probably sit on that side because I'm heavier. Alright. Then it would... <laughs>
you're just tamping it down at the bottom there. Yep. I think it's a little more than four feet now. About 52 inches. Yeah. About four, almost, uh, yeah, four, four foot, four and a half inches or something like that. Yeah. It is too. Even if it doesn't, dude, we're that close. Yeah, well, just pull really fucking hard if it if, starts uh, to fall, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, at this point, it's like harder than you've ever pulled on anything. Before. I know. <laughs> we are, uh, we're, we're just a couple steps away from out there. So I have to, so if I let off the winch, it goes back. Okay. So, so I have just to just, keep going. I just gotta go for it. Bug? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so definitely just send it. <laughs> I'll just tell you if I feel like it's getting out of control. Ready? Ready. Alright, I'll I'll yell if I need it down. Alright. Like, 
There's two guys on a fucking lawnmower. Two guys on a lawnmower. That's gonna be the name of our next business, okay? Two guys. We do everything. That's what the contracting company is called. Two guys in a lawnmower. tension off of the strap and then re-strap it so we can go a little more every time and then once we get it up a little bit more we'll start dropping dirt in the side yes dude oh yes but this was a genius idea okay. i think there's probably down there yeah that shovel would <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't know that. I think I'm straight up a bit down in a video like last year or two years ago. Yeah. Only person that's ever outsmoked me. Really awesome. Damn. Show the people. So we're kind of losing daylight here, so we just want to show you what's going on before it's too dark to record anymore, but. We have all the straps hooked up to it still, and we've just been filling in this hole with mud. And we're pretty much all the way there. I mean, literally, we're just gonna fill it up, make a little mound with the excess dirt so that it's kind of extra supported. And we got ourselves a pole. And for moisture drainage. And for That's moisture drainage. Part. That's why that pole rotted out, because there's a puddle under it every time it rains. Yeah. So piling it up against there would definitely help with that. Yeah. But we got her done, man. Butcher Bitchin' Ranch, getting it done. Getting it done. Dude, and we had so many people saying that this we, we couldn't do this. We couldn't do this. It's in the ground. Literally, like, more people than I can count on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. No one thought we could do this. And here we are with a pole in the ground. I love the haters, man. Right. I love the haters. You gotta pay respect to them. Gotta, gotta pay respect to the haters. <laughs> They make me do what I can do. Right. Just two guys in a lawnmower. Two guys in a lawnmower. All right. It's uh, officially functioning. We got the meter and everything moved over as well. The guys came yesterday and moved it all over. And we now have a fixed electricity pole. <laughs> this is cool. Dude, I can't believe we did this. So is that your old meter or is that a new one? No, this is the original meter. That's the, the old meter boxes over there. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so it's like a new new breaker panel here. Um. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. Yeah, and then so what we're going to do basically is, um, is we're going to just chop the post like right here. Yeah. And then leave this for now. And eventually I'll do just like a uh, like a junction box or something here instead because he pointed out this doesn't even have a cover on it or anything and um oh yeah but really interesting the the wire that he used it's a, a two 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 four six so two gauge two gauge power four gauge ground or four gauge neutral and then six gauge ground that's what we're working with now. Although I guess it makes sense because you got some 240 appliances, so neutral wouldn't even be used in that case. Actually, yeah, and that's, yeah. Okay, so what did we learn putting this pole up? Well, we were just talking about how, don't listen to anybody. We had so many people telling us that, I mean, at least five or six people told us that this is not possible to do with two people. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say about that. Maybe more. Yeah. 
and um, yeah. really, I mean, the concept of it was pretty straightforward. Just putting a pole in the ground. Yeah, if if you have certain tools to assist you in doing things, then it can make the job a lot easier. The fact that we had a winch made it much easier. Yeah. I'd say it would have been possible just pulling it with a truck, but it was a little more so difficult. Too. But, um, yeah, I think the way that we did it was the, one of the best ways we could have approached it, and it went pretty well. I mean, we got it in the hole the first time, and, yeah. and it didn't fall over, and we just kind of <laughs> yeah. had to just level it and, and uh, get it straight up after that. After that first that first pull when I like let go of it <laughs> yeah. and I saw that you know it was like it was like leaning back crooked but it wasn't gonna fall over I was like okay it's in yeah I'm like that's cool and then and then from there it was definitely it, it just got easier and easier oh yeah and yeah it was pretty cool yeah it certainly seems like a big feat but I mean yeah us having the shop crane and I feel like just like just thinking about it for a couple minutes i mean we came up with so many different ways to get this thing up yeah i mean like the tornado shelter yeah it was that in, was an ingenious idea it was in the perfect <laughs> spot it was definitely in the perfect spot for that but yeah it's just about the angles and the leverage and other than that it's pretty straightforward yeah but you definitely can put a pole in yourself you definitely can maybe not by yourself but with two people it's pretty straightforward <laughs> yeah. and uh yeah we're not gonna spend thousands of dollars to have someone dig a hole and put a stick in it <laughs> really doesn't make a whole lot of sense nope but uh glad the pole's in glad we have electricity yeah we'll uh we'll put a little outro of the uh the old pole falling over at the end of the video yeah we could do that yeah. if we do that this week then i definitely can yeah we'll definitely i want to do that before we go so, yeah uh, we'll definitely do that before we head out most certainly <laughs> just a little <laughs> all right done <laughs> yeah sweet well we got a poll but uh yeah. that wraps up this vlog i will see you guys next week with hopefully uh less chaotic adventure but that would be nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Oh.